December 21st. I guess the world's ended. I wonder if that means we're trapped in some alternate universe where everything is seemingly okay. Hmm. Well, at any rate, I ordered some parts and they came in today. These are the 10 old hard drives from the main RAID array. The Seagate Cheetah 10K.7 10,000 RPM drive, 146 gig. I took out 10 of these and replaced them with Seagate NL35 series, which is a 500 gig fiber channel drive. So we are at 10 by 500 gigabytes. If you account for th roughly 30% of the space, it should give us somewhere around 4 gigabytes usable. Unless I do RAID Z2. But I think I'll just do RAID Z1 because I don't expect two drive failures out of only 10 drives. <coughs> so anyway, that's done. Go ahead and power it on. This is one extra drive. I'm not even going to bother opening it. Just going to keep it as a spare. If anyone wanted the model number, it's ST35000711FC. Three three zero 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 there are 7200 RPM drives instead of 10,000, which I'm fine with because they're not OS drives, they're just for storage. And with the power consumption being less, save me a little bit extra energy. Drives are installed. The restore is running. Let's see how far along we are. Raid. 122 gigs complete out of a terabyte, so pretty good. I've noticed that the Solaris backup utilities that I wrote is a lot faster with ZFS. You can see it's going from my 2.5 terabyte hot swappable SATA drive restored to the array. It caches a bunch up in the RAM and then writes it to disk. That's usually just the larger files. Right now we're doing AVI files. If it's small, small files, it'll copy really fast. Let's open the better one. Now I can watch all of it work. SD2 is the single SATA hard drive. 